Hello family, welcome to my channel, Miss Dosha here. Today we are going to traditionally cook muswa for breakfast. Kindly, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing, like, comment, and share it to your friends. Let's get into it. Straight away, mom will start by preparing the matzere. <laughs> After widowing, she will then place it inside the kinu, add some little water and partially grind it. Whatever chicks are feeding on is called wiswa. Let me know in your village how you do call it. Drop a sweet comment for your girl. This is Giriama Land Coastal Kenya, Africa. Quickly she will wash and place it on fire. This is water. Let's then go ahead to wash the kino. Remember, once you wash the kinu, you have to dry it under the sun. On the other hand, mom will prepare the coconuts. She will then place the grinded coconut inside the kifumbu, add some little water and squeeze it for us to achieve coconut milk.
the matsuri is already boiling. Using baking flour, I will then add coconut milk to prepare a paste and add it to the matsuri. Just like any other porridge, I will have to stir it till it boils. This is sugar. And whenever you are serving this muswa, you have to ensure the matere together with the muswa itself, it's served inside the cup. Let me know in your village how you do it. Drop a sweet comment for your girl. This is Diriyama Land Coastal Kenya, Africa. And this is muswa. Let's then go ahead to serve it. Other than that, if you've not watched this video where I preserved fish using another method, I will link the video above. Let's then go ahead to enjoy the traditional muswa dropper. Sweet comment for you, girl. <music> Kindly, if you've not watched my video and yet to turn your notification bell on, please do so like, comment, and share it to your friends. Remember, at Miss Dosha's family, we always remind you to be your own kind of successful beauty. Peace.